Hi there. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to use uh, parameters in the model builder. Uh, and then once we've done that model and got that script, uh, we'll uh, put it in the toolbox and actually attach it to a button uh, here in ArcMap uh, 10.5. So there's two things that are going to cover is uh, the parameter, model parameter, which means you're prompting the user uh, for a bit of input. Uh, and in this case, it'll be the, the buffer distance. And the second part, part of this will be to add uh, to a button the um, that, that actual model. So we can just click and run. So first of all, let's go into Model Builder. Um, we're going we're to keep it uh, pretty straightforward here. So we'll grab, um, I've got a previous video called Intro uh, ArcGIS Model Builder. So you can see a bit more about what I'm doing here in that video. So I'm going to grab that, I'll take buffer, I'll connect these two, input features. Now, th th there's a linear unit here to type in, so that's the, the buffer value. So what, what I'd like to do is actually prompt the user. So I right hand mouse click on buffer and say make variable from a parameter and it's the distance. I could add one or more, any of them, but I'm just going to go for the distance. I just want the user to type in uh, whatever uh, value they want to buffer on. So I do that. And then I will set this to a default one. So now it has a default value. And you see how it's all now colored in because that's all valid. There's a, there's a default value to be used um, in there. So that's, that's um, uh, there's this one final step, which to say that actually this is our model parameter. So let the um, user have a dialog box to type this in. So I set that and you see a P appear. appear. So that is something that's going to be, uh, um, the user's going to be prompted for. So P for parameter, P for prompt. Uh, note, you will not get any dialog or any prompt in here. If I just run this, it'll just run uh, successfully, but there'll be no um, window popped up, no dialog box. That's not supported in, in Model Builder. I could add this to display. And there they are, they're the, the buffers. So I'll just remove them for the moment. So, so that's my simple model. That's, that's all I'm going to do, um, uh, but we don't see the prompt here, like I said, until it comes into our map and we have that uh, uh, user interface. So how do we get this onto a button? So you just press and go. Well, first thing, let's save this to a toolbox. So I've got a got my own toolbox here. You, you can e easily um, create new to, new um, toolboxes in here you could say add toolbox and create one uh, call it whatever save it wherever but I'm, I'm just going to use a default one I use um, which is just this one called toolbox that's that's what it is and I call it um, let's call this uh, parameter example save so you see in toolbox on the right here this is in arc toolbox here so it's actually listed there parameter example I'll just put that to one side now what we need to do is add it to the toolbar we do that by going to customize and customize mode I'll create a new toolbar because let's imagine I want to add lots of tools so I do various models and uh, bits of geoprocessing work and I want to create multiple buttons but I could add what I'm going to do to an existing toolbar, but let's just make one. Let's call it Doug Demo Toolbar. The um, actually is one thing. One thing I'll do. Let me just. I've, cr I've created that Doug Demo Demo Toolbar. If you look in the top left here, you see there's a uh, just this empty toolbar there. What I'll do actually is back in the um, model. Just go to model properties uh, and uh, parameter example. Oh, that, that's okay, I suppose. It'll, it'll, it'll just say parameter example. That, that, that's what'll pop up, you see, on the tooltip. So um, just need it to say something useful. 
So in customize mode, let's just go back to that, you'll see Doug Demo Toolbar. And then what I can do is go to commands and say, well, onto that, I'm going to add a geoprocessing uh, tool. Uh, and uh, I'm going to add the tool from my toolbox, which is here. It's this main toolbox. I'm adding it from that one. And there it is, parameter example. So I press add. And there it is uh, in, the, in the list of available tool. So now all you have to do is simply drag. So I left to mouse click and drag it across onto my Doug Demo toolbar. Release. And there you go. It has a little model builder icon. I'll show you how to change that um, uh, another time. So I just close that for the moment. So now we have this uh, Doug Demo toolbar. You see when I say it says parameter example on the tooltip. That's why I went back to this just to make sure that I had something in there. So you could put some stuff in there and fill in description. It would be uh, useful. And also perhaps some help uh, in there as well. So there's lots of things you could do to that. So I press it and you see now it prompts for the um, whole distance input, the, the linear unit and the, the the actual unit, the value and the unit. Again, that's because we've got a P here. So when I clicked on uh, that, I just made sure model parameter was selected. So I, I'll leave it at, th at uh, yeah, I'll leave it at three. Press OK. The tool runs, parameter example. I close and then uh, I could have, I should have just had this open anyway. This uh, um, this uh, geodatabase. So here's all the um, results. So that's the um, results from the file, and uh, uh, that's all it is to it really. I think I'll get rid of that. Um, uh, toolbar actually. How do we get rid of the toolbar? Go back to customize, customize mode, find Doug Demo toolbar, let's delete. It says are you really sure? Yes I am. Okay, done. And there we are, back to where we started. I hope that's useful. Thanks for watching.